All right, so to begin, we're going to discuss the preliminaries. What do I mean by that? We're going to talk about the things that you need to know and remember from previous courses for our course on differential equations and Fourier analysis. So things that come from calculus that you've seen in previous courses. Well, a summary of the things that uh, we need to remember is, of course, I mean, this is in particular this thing um, I'm not going to talk about, so I'm not going to do anything. Um, if you don't remember, just make sure that you go back and you re-familiarize yourself with very, really, really comfortable taking derivatives, really, really comfortable doing basic integrals, well, the ones that, uh, the kind of integrals you've been doing in previous courses, finding antiderivatives, being able, being able to integrate uh, with confidence and knowing immediate integrals and be fast and comfortable with them. Also, of course, how to handle trigonometric functions, things that you've been using throughout. You probably used in high school a lot. You used last year as well. So yeah, trigonometric functions. And uh, well, all the other basic math that, uh, you know, you need to remember how to uh, add, how to subtract, how to multiply, and so on. All right. Also, uh, we're gonna, not much, but we require some basic complex number manipulation and understanding. This I will review. I have notes that I call blog zero. It's not course content per se. You're not going to have assignments um, uh, evaluating this in particular. Uh, it's some things that you have seen before, but because we will use them, we will use those, those basic complex calculus to build on and um, study new things. It's important that we remember it. So I prepare something called blog zero online. Blog zero is a review of complex calculus. It's eight pages of review. Um, not the eight pages are necessary. In fact, uh, it's okay to know up to something like page three. I'm gonna actually review all the way to page three. Page four, five, and six, and seven, and eight are for those of you who are super curious, because actually I'm gonna end up showing you some, if you want, uh, apparent contradictions that one gets uh, that highlights the subtleties of the basic complex calculus that we're gonna see. But this is for those of you who are like me in terms of geeking out with these things, <laughs> all right? But the basic stuff that I will review, actually, it's uh, pages one, two, and three of the blog zero that's online. And this is to remind you this all is not new material, it's things that you should know from previous courses, but I thought I would record it and, uh, you know, to remind you of it. What else? Uh, limits. You need to remember how to take limits. <laughs> now, um, there's one thing about limits, is when the limits are, you get indeterminations, like zero over zero and things like that, you are very used to using L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule is fine when it works. Um, I'm gonna do my limits using Taylor series, Taylor expansions. Now, you may be thinking right now, oh my God, why would you do that? I remember seeing Taylor series, uh, uh, Taylor expansions in my previous calculus course, and it was, not nice, I didn't like it. Well, Taylor series, like many things in math, are things that many people, when they see him for the first time, are like, ooh, that's tough and horrible. But no, it's actually super cool. Taylor series, Taylor expansion, is one of the coolest things that when you're comfortable with, the kind of thing that when, when you become comfortable with it, you don't want to stop using it. You're gonna be wanted to use it for everything. You're gonna want to clean the dishes, and you're gonna want to use Taylor expansion for that. So yeah, Taylor expansions, uh, I'm going to be using that, and I do this because in teaching you math, I'm not only teaching you tools, I'm teaching you a way of thinking. Math courses actually train your brain for analytical and logical thinking. So being exposed to new tools and ways of thinking is actually really, really good to develop your thinking. Anyway, if you want to use L'Hopital, I don't forbid it. You can use L'Hopital. But, by the way, uh, L'Hopital's rule uh, is not named after L'Hopital because L'Hopital invented it. L'Hopital paid the person who invented it to give the name. <laughs> so, just so you know. Anyway, so L'Hopital, L'Hopital's rule you can use for sure. I will not be using L'Hopital's rule for my limits. I encourage you if you want to repeat uh, what I do with Taylor series in terms of your L'Hopital rule, but please try to understand my use of Taylor series because it allows you to take limits like this fast. As opposed to L'Hopital in which you can have to take derivatives and takes slightly longer. All right. Also in engineering, people love, uh, people love uh, L'Hopital's rule. <laughs> so it's good that I teach you something else. So you expand your knowledge. All right. We will see. I hope that when we meet online, when we have our online sessions, we discuss all these things. I'm looking forward to it. 
All right, uh, another thing that you need to remember is something that you saw in the context of actually computing integrals, but here we will actually use it for more things. It's what was called simple fraction decomposition. That is a method of writing a rational function, a function that is uh, the ratio of two polynomials, in terms of simpler fractions, in terms of fractions of the roots, in the denominator, the roots of the polynomial in the denominator. Uh, that is going to be useful. You already did it in previous courses, and in fact, it's my, my understanding that you practice it a lot. Uh, I will be reviewing it a little bit as well, because it's going to be very helpful for us in this course as well. Other than that, this is the old stuff you need to know in order to, um, to deal with the content in the course. The rest of the content of the course is going to be new stuff. Okay? But this is the old one. I hope this one, if you, if you feel that you don't feel confident enough in integrating, um, go back and review integration. Make yourself, make sure that you are familiar with integrals and solving integrals. All right? Okay. So the next thing I'm going to record for you guys is the review of basic complex manipulation. And I will now ask any questions, anybody has anything, but unfortunately I cannot do that live. So please, if you have any questions at any point when I'm explaining something, remember those questions and when we meet, bring them up. Okay, so it's really important uh, that you actually, uh, you know, still ask questions. If something you don't understand, please mark it and ask it. All right.